because all my exes live in Texas. I wasn't able to attend the race this weekend. I know you can relate, can't you, Craig? Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn and this is Rearview Mirror. I don't know if anybody told you this or not, but there was a bit of a change up in the racing surface at Texas Motor Speedway since the last time we raced there. And rumor has it, there was either a monster or a dragon breathing rubber on the track. Or something like that, I don't know. All of the eyes of the racing world were on the Lone Star State when the drivers of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series came riding into town on their horses like a posse or a band of outlaws. You know, westerns and So yeah, on Friday it was a lot like the rodeo because these drivers were getting jostled and banged around trying to hold on for 2.7 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. Hell, even Jimmy Johnson, who holds the record for most wins here, went for a spin in qualifying. We'll get back to that guy, but for now, it's time for the word of the week. The wind here in Texas. The winds. Gusty wind. About the wind change. Can control the wind. We mentioned the wind, uh, Michael. How windy is it? First of all, the wind. Has the wind increased? Those winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. The wind. The wind. Nobody knows the wind better. You know what? Nobody knows the wind, but you're going to feel the effects of that wind. The last time somebody led over 100 laps in a Wood Brothers number 21 car, Who Can It Be Now by Men at Work was the number one song. Dave Blaney won Rookie of the Year in the All-Star Circuit of Champions, and Craig Johnson graduated high school. This isn't even a photo of Craig Johnson. It's just a random photo we found on the internet. You don't even know who Craig Johnson is or why I even referenced him. This is Craig Johnson, and he's a camera guy. But more importantly, Dave Blaney's son won two segments and led 148 laps. That kid is going places. That number reminds me of something. 148, 148, 48, oh yeah, Jimmy Johnson. This guy is pretty decent at Texas. They even tried to throw a repave and a reconfiguration at the reigning champ, and it didn't phase him. Well, almost. There was that spin we mentioned earlier, but I'm getting sidetracked. That little mistake meant that old seven time would have to drop to the rear. And while all eyes were on Blaney, that wily veteran worked his way to the front like a hard-nosed U.S. Marshal and a Texas Ranger helping a stubborn teenager track down her father's murder in the Oklahoma Territory. Damn it, that's the plot of True Grit. Anyway, Jimmy got his seventh win at Texas in 28 starts, which means he wins one out of every four times he comes to the Lone Star State. We're off next week, but be sure to check back in after Bristol as we break down the race where they distribute swords. Coincidentally, that is no basis for a political system. Let me guess, that Monty Python reference was lost on you, wasn't it? Yeah.